Okay, we're doing another Zoomy video here. Um, we're doing another lesson. This one is going to be lesson 1.2. Uh, last week we did uh, basic drive commands. Today it's going to be remote control and conditionals with Zoomy. I already went through the lesson once just to understand what I was going to be doing. Um, so let it load here. I'm not going to cover like everything. Um, but we have to import at the beginning each time the um, the runtime stuff. So you're going to import it. <clears throat> uh, I didn't see it. There we go. It takes a few moments here. Now we're going to cover user input. So do, to do remote control, you need to register your input. Um, so there's an input function. And in this example, we're just doing a print. Um, so I had run through it before. Uh, it's got here a print. It's gonna ask me, wait a second, I thought I did it anyway. It's gonna ask me my name. My actual name is Danielle. And Miranda's my username on online. Okay, I was trying to avoid having to do that but whatever it just says hello Danielle now pseudocode is just an example if I could get back to where it was doing tab tabbing arrow is not helping okay so pseudocode is just an example to understand how it works it works for the code so like if you write it in plain language to understand it so if you do W on the keyboard it would go forward S reverse a, turn left, D, turn right. And the reason they're doing that is W, S, A, D. This is pretty well common in a lot of computer um, programs that use a keyboard. Um, so we're gonna translate that to if statements. We're gonna instruct Zoomy to drive in a particular direction. <coughs> Pardon. Based on the input. These are conditionals. It helps you make decisions. You, you, you know, example, you use conditionals every day. If my alarm goes up, then I'm, goes off, then I wake up, else I will stay asleep. If I'm hungry, I will eat something. If I'm not hungry, else I will not eat. If it's sunny out, I will wear sunscreen, stuff like that. So in Python, it's if conditional statement here, then a colon, and then you insert the statement, else colon, insert the statement. So if alarm goes off, I will wake up, else stay asleep. So in computer checks, whether it's true or false, um, look at the cute little zoomy. We will be interacting with her soon, sorry. Um, the else statement is when there's nothing else, it, it reaches that statement and that's what it'll do. And so it reaches the false statement and it'll do the else. Uh, so if when the condition is false and nothing needs to happen, you don't use an else. Indate indentation is very important in Python, which is perhaps um, debatably good. Um, it's, you know, unfortunate in my opinion. Indentations indicate which statements belong to a particular section in a code. Um, you have to indent them either four spaces or one tab. If it's off by one space, you'll get an error. So either do tabs or spaces. I, I personally prefer tabs. Um, anyway, so we're going to translate your pseudocode to Python. Use print statements for testing first to make sure that it's working. So if directions equals W, go forward. Um, so it, they give the examples of um, the comparator. Com Parator operator, which is an equal, a double equal sign. Um, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and not equal to. Okay. And it says here's, here's an example of using those. Uh, I'm not going to change them, you know, just give some no numerals and X is not equal to Y, Z is greater than. Why? 
and then they provide the code example that I'm supposed to put the commands in. Now, I already wrote these earlier, and I did do them with prints first, but I'm not going to rerun that. So what we're going to do is do this, and we're going to replace it with the code that I wrote earlier. Hopefully, I still have it. Yeah. I got rid of the uh, comment, though. So as well, true directions equal input, it will put a please enter a command. And then when I enter the input to remote control, if I enter W, Zoomy move forward. S, Zoomy will reverse. These, Zoomy.forward, Zoomy.reverse, Zoomy.turn underscore left, Zoomy.turn underscore right were learned in the prior lesson. Um, so, you know, S, A, D, or Q. And sorry, S, W, S, A, or D. And then we learned a new one, which is no, noted down here. That Because you don't want it to run continuously. You want it to stop at some point. You need to do a break. So Q will, end, uh, will cause the break. So we're going to go ahead and run this. The run is up here. And now it's going to ask me to enter an input. Um, I've got Zumi in a position that hopefully she will be okay. I move this over a little though. Okay, so we're gonna do, just gonna do A, where she turns um, left. And then I've gotta hit enter, sorry. So Zumi turns left, her left, not my left, obviously. Um, then we're going to move her forward, which is W, and then I hit enter. Zumi moves forward. Then we're going to do a, what? We'll do D and have her move right. And then we'll have her move in reverse, which is S. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I had her in a good spot anyway. Um, so yeah, and then Q will quit it. But instead I'm just gonna enter, you know, a few more. Didn't enter anything there. So yeah. So it's a little hard to show the screen and show Zoomy at the same time, but you get the idea. I'm remote controlling her from the keyboard and then I'm gonna quit it. And if you don't enter, I actually am gonna show if you enter one that isn't a valid one, it's not gonna do anything. And poor little Zoomy would be confused if she tried to do something. Okay, so we're gonna quit it and it's gonna quit it. It's gonna stop the it's gonna break, or it should, yeah. Okay. So there we go for that lesson on conditionals. Um, they have like a example that you could do something. I'm not gonna do these until I can get my Zoomy Town mat out, uh, down. Um, but yeah, that was the if statements in remote controlling Zoomy. So you could then run a program where you know she checks on specific buildings in Zoomy Town every morning and runs a specific route so that you get a specific route and you can remote control the route. Um, you know, so hopefully next week we get, uh, you know, another one uh, a little earlier in the day. I was going to do it earlier uh, when we had some sunlight, but the, the there were storms and so we didn't get good sunlight anyway. All right. Oh, and I want to show, um, going to do that. I want to show how to shut her off on here, the way you shut Zoomy off. Um, on any any of the pages that load, there's the, going to be a stop button here uh, at this section at the on the uh, bottom left-hand side. So you just do that. You'll, uh, they'll ask, are you sure? And then Zoomy herself, the... the, the Dashboard shuts down and then Zoomy herself will tell you to shut her off in 15 seconds. Um, she won't specifically, you know, and then the dashboard goes down, but she won't specifically shut down. You have to manually shut the shut, shut her off here because she's got an on off button. So um, I'm going to do that anyway. Take care and have a good weekend. Bye bye.